Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer, or I go by Jen. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Today we're gonna to talk about a really cool palette from Dior. Now, there's been a few reviews on this already. I haven't really seen a whole lot of them yet, but this is the brand new palette by Dior. It is the Five Colors Couture. 469 Atelier Dory from the Atelier of Dreams collection. It is their holiday collection, you guys. This is a 7.6 gram palette, 0.26 ounces. It has a six month shelf life, guys. FYI, and yeah, most of their limited edition palettes do come as a six month shelf life. I'm not quite sure about that. I did also pick up this one, which is the 739 House of Dreams palette in the same collection, the Atelier of Dreams. Again, six months shelf life, same amount of product, and they retail for 65 US dollars. I purchased mine on Dior.com. This is the one that I wanted to try and get up for you and just see, because I felt like there was some similarities, some differences, with this guy here so yeah we're going to talk about that today and do three different looks swatches are coming up right now
Um, let's use the Atelier of Doreen's eyeshadow palette. It's five pans made in France by Christian Dior. It is 7.6 grams, 0.26 ounces, 4.69 Atelier Doré. Six month shelf life. Let's put it on. I'm so excited. So we're going to start with a Katie Jane Q Spectrum 11. I am going to take, I'm, I think I'm just going to take this shade here. It's in the right upper corner. I love, love the imprint of this. It's absolutely stunning. You know what? Before I do so, I'm going to put on a primer. So let's put on this Makeup by Mario primer. It's one of my favorite primers. So we're going to start with this shade here. It's kind of like a gold shade. And I'm going to start with the crease here. And just kind of work it in with this. It's really pretty. It's not too, too much. I don't want to do too, too much today. Just try, try it out. See what it looks like. It's a pretty kind of golden shade here. What do you think? has a little bit of a shimmer finish. Very beautiful. And uh, yeah. You know what? I might take this all over the lid too. Because I really like this. I think it's a very pretty shade. Very pretty. That's a good just one and done all over the lid. Good to go. Golden, pretty, very wearable shade. I am going to go in with my finger here and just kind of take that on. Wow, look at that payoff, guys. Ooh, okay. Very pretty. What do we think? Mm-hmm. Very pretty. Now, I kind of want to take a smaller brush like this as a Katie Jane Hughes 18 Spectrum. And I want to go in this one. It's kind of a chocolate. So you can see here. Chocolate with a little hint of purple. So... Can you see how this, so I'm just blending it and focusing it on the corner. Does it have purple or is it more chocolate? I feel like it's more chocolate. I'm blending it out like so. Has some shimmer to it. But I wanted to show it so you can see the depth it can create. I really like this. I really love these palettes that, and I'm just going to take the same brush that we were using for the other crease shade, an all over shade, and blend it out. I love creating definition with a deeper shade, even if it's a little, if it's just a little bit, like, it's not too, too much, but just enough to give your eye a little bit of pop, a little bit of definition, and it really is pretty. I like doing that with the deeper shade, even a black sometimes. It's really pretty with golds. Doing that is so, so nice too. You can add more and build it as like so, but yeah, it does have a little purple hue to it, guys. And then if you want, you can like really make it dramatic, but I'm just going to do it like this and like that. And then I am going to blend. Right? Very pretty. Gorgeous, right? So this is what we're going to do another look 
on today. This is 469 Atelier Doré by Christian Dior. We are going to play with this and see how it does. I, I did a pretty kind of simple look yesterday, but I thought we'd kind of ramp it up a little bit. Ramp it up and see what we can do. I am not throwing like a ton of primer or anything on today. We're just going to go for it. <laughs> We're going for it. So let's do, let's start with this one. This one's a little deeper than what we did yesterday. So, pull you in. I'm using a fluffier brush than I did yesterday. I was more kind of defined with this shade in the crease. So I thought we'd use this just to kind of see and then blend it out. And all over. So this is still a little bit cool. Not as cool, I feel like, as the other palette. But this one is still a little bit on the cooler side. But look how it blends so pretty. It's not like a super deep, deep shade that you can't blend out and look. I mean, that could be a one and done. That mascara, you're good to go, right? That's so pretty. And it gives you some depth to the eye. Kind of makes my eyes pop a bit, right? All right, let's do another shade. Let's take, I'm taking a, so Nuji Soft Definer, and it's like this little, little guy right here. And I'm gonna take this and push that in the crease, just in the crease, just to see the depth we get from that. And pull that up and out. Mmm, I like this. Wow, that's nice. That is deeper, but nice, right? What do we think? I think what I'll do too is go in with the shade just all over the lid here, just to give it a little bit of dimension. It's a little shimmer. Blend it up and out just to blend that. And yeah, very pretty. I'm really liking the way this turned out. I think it's subtle yet. It gives the eye a bit of a pop. Yeah, it's subtle enough, but it gives the eye a bit of a pop and I love that. I'm gonna do the other eye. Now my eyes are so different. I always say that because I always like to preface that this eye's not gonna look the same. <laughs> it really isn't. That's okay. It's not gonna look the same completely. I mean, it'll look similar, but it's hard to get them to look exactly like, you know? So, pull that out. Okay, so I finished up, but I decided to add just a little bit of the gold, like just right here. I love it. We are going to do one more look with this quint. Three looks up. So with this, we are going to put on, I think, just a couple shades. So I think we're going to go in this shade here. Because I'm going to put this all over the lid, and I want to show you how pretty this is. Just as kind of a one and done because I think this will kind of surprise y'all how beautiful this is. It kind of reminds me of New Moon from Chanel. Remember that? A while back, I have that. I'm gonna compare it for you too so that you can see it because it is similar, or it's what it reminds me of. It's, so let me finish this one and I will but look how easy this is, y'all. I mean, come on. We're done. 
so easy. I'm using a Scott Barnes brush. This is such a cool brush. It's like this shader brush here. It's number 61. So easy. So easy. Let me get grab New Moon so that I can show you what these look like side by side. All right, y'all, this is New Moon. And this is the shade I just put on my lid. It's lighter, definitely lighter. This one's this one's an older, so the texture and formulation, I need to throw it out. This is um, another shade from this palette, and this is the other shade. So kind of similar vibes from a color story family, but they're not exactly the same. But it's what it reminded me of on the lid. So I wanted to share that with you. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. I'm really enjoying this eyeshadow palette. I'm so glad I picked it up. It is totally different, friends, as we kind of talked before, than the one in the palette that came for holiday this year. This is so good. I am loving it more and more and more. I do want to share, though, if I were to pick maybe, if I were to choose one or the other, because although they are, they are very different, they do have similar tones, a little similar vibe to them I would probably pick this one I know I would pick this one because I love that this is a topper shade right here I really like that there's a little bit more you know you have a lighter shade here a little bit more depth I feel like some of these shades could be they're not the same but they're not that different if that makes sense. I mean, the formulations are a little different. Your middle shade here is definitely a shimmer, not a topper, that kind of thing. But I just really love this one. And I love this highlighter, you guys. Now, I did put on, more to come, more to come, okay? I did put on this blush from the Holiday Collection. Okay. I heard through the grapevine that many do not like this blush from the Holiday Collection, the Atelier Dream 601, because it definitely has some shimmer to it. It is a shimmer blush, okay? I'm usually not a shimmer girl. I usually don't like it, but I'm really loving how it looks on my cheeks right now. I mean, you can see the shimmer. You don't need a highlighter with this. By all means, do not need a highlighter but I'm really, really liking it so far. First time I've tried it today, more to come. I'll have a full review, probably with this palette coming soon. I just really wanted to try these out, get some good looks for you guys, give it a couple wears, because it's important, that's important to me. And honestly though, guys, if I were to pick like this one or this one, I would pick this one. I was doing swatches the other night and uh, I got the, I was <laughs> putting my hand in it. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that's all. I think that's it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe. That helps me out here as a content creator. I'd love, love to have you here. Also, don't forget to hit the bell. It will up, it will remind you of <laughs> every time I upload. I would love, love for you to do that as well. I'll leave my latest video right here and I'll see you up there. Bye y'all.